Hey. Hey. It's good to see you guys again. You too. Um, so I have a question about um, the last episode. It shouldn't be too spoilery, I don't think. But um, at the convention in the UK, you talked about how you guys had to change the reunion hug scene between Sam and Dean. And we were just curious as to what you changed. How did you feel that it could be improved, or what did you feel needed to be improved? It was written that I was under arms and you were over. Here we go. Um, I would say that the, it, it was, I mean, it was obviously written in there, but I would say the one thing that wasn't written in the script was the, um, uh, I guess the oddity that it was, that, that how it happened. Uh, I think the, um, dealing with the fact that, yes, he's back, and for, from Dean's standpoint, yes, he's back, and I want to embrace my brother because I thought I'd lost him. But he came back via Lucifer, and that really concerns me. And that's something that we're probably going to have to deal with. So it's, it was like a bit of a, you know. The, there's a very, there's a very, like sort of ephemeral quality with a lot of supernatural scenes where it's that classic, like, oh my God, you're back, everything's okay. It's sort of like, oh my God, you're back, everything's not okay, and now we have a new game work to do. <laughs> So it frustrates me too, because Jared wants to go like, oh my god, they are there and alive. Because like, no, they're not. They're in an apocalypse world and have to get mom back and Jack back and Michael's around and Lucifer's around. So there's this fleeting sort of you're still in the middle of the game, you know, you're still there's still a work to do. So there's no there's not that satisfaction of like, oh, I'm home. It's over. It's over. Right. Yeah. I'm gone. We're, we, Here's we're saved. Yeah. So I think it was the the yeah the weight of that kind of moment was. Uh, it was written a bit more heavy. It was a bit, written a bit more like ah oh, reunioning, you know, reunioning, but it didn't feel right because we did it and we were like, wait a second, this doesn't feel right. Like, a, we have a whole other episode. A uh, whole other means an entire another for all you non Texans. Uh, so we had a whole. Additional or another cheese. We had an additional episode too. Um, I don't even know what he's talking about. Um, so it, it needed to feel fleeting. It needed to be, unfortunately, uh, unsatisfactory. I will also say that, that <laughs> to, to the writer's credit, a lot of times they don't feel like they need to write all of that into the script because they trust us to find those moments, make those decisions, and perform it. So, um, you know, I don't think it was the, the, the writers doing a disservice to that moment. I literally think they were like, no, no, they know what to do. They'll figure it out. And I think that's a, that's a trust that's been built over uh, well over a decade, so. And I feel like moments like that, great question, because I, as an actor, as a performer, I feel those moments, like as a fan of the show, I want a satisfactory, successful, everything's okay hug. So as an actor, it's weird sometimes to go like, well, we need to piss ourselves off. Like, this needs to be, this needs to suck. And be sort of like, love ya, <clears throat> okay, all right, what next? Like, it needs to kind of suck a little bit. Um, but for the sake of the story, um, that's what we did, you know? I, I want the whole, oh my god, you're alive, oh my god, you're home. I was so worried. Huh, you know, and we've had some of those over the years. Yeah. Um, it didn't work, but it wasn't. This wasn't the time for that. Well, I would kind of have to disagree with your assessment. Of oh, for crying! Out. <laughs> but because it was very satisfactory, um, whether you intended it or not, um, a great deal of emotion came through, and a great deal of love between Sam and Dean um, was very obvious, even as fleeting as it was. Listen, we'll, you know. <laughs> We're very satisfactory, okay? Um, I am always satisfied with you guys. It just, it just comes in varying degrees. Uh, Misha, I don't know, but listen, we're, we aim to satisfy. Right? What? No? My bad. I'm good. I'm good. We can edit that part out. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Well, then you got nothing to apologize for.
Thought I lost you, man. What are we gonna do about Lucifer? Clarification. Are you some friends? Yes. Thank God. Because you were saying bonjour and bonsoir. Because she said bonjour at the very beginning. I did. So my question was. We're gonna blame the jet lag. I always think this guy. My question was: Was there any time during the show where you read the script and was like, why would you do that to your character? Uh, yes, a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh first because you're so wonderfully patient that like three times she's like, my question is, <laughs> and then we're being idiots. My question is, <laughs> my question is, <laughs> my question is, we're being idiots. Goes, okay, my question was, this earlier in my uh, meet and greet, I find a lot of joy in that, and that Sam does things. We have, I have similarities with Sam, Ackles has similarities with Dean, but I find a lot of, it's a fun life we get to live, where we get to wholeheartedly dedicate ourselves and give ourselves over to another mindset or to something that we think we wouldn't do. But then again, you know, Jared has done things that Jared <coughs> Didn't think you would do. Going back to third person, sorry. <laughs> so it's it's almost freeing to be able to explore a side of yourself. And I think not not to speak of our talent, but I think if you're acting properly, you're learning something from the characters you play. You're picking up on things because you get to explore something and say like, oh well, God, this is what I would do. And you do it and you do it for three or four hours because it takes that long fun scene. And you start going like, oh my. Okay, I guess I was, uh, all right, I, I, I guess I was wrong on this. And you get to learn, I think if you're living life correctly, you're learning something every day. And I get to learn from Sam, I get to learn from Dean, I get to teach Jensen some stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yes, but it happens constantly. I uh, love Leanne, I don't think Sam would have lived with Amelia. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that um, uh, doing what we do for a living, you know, we're, we're hired to portray these characters and to, to bring to life what is on the page. And sometimes that can be challenging because it might challenge what you think about the character. Um, and I will say that, uh, you know, our writers are, are uh, they're, they're great and they have been great throughout the years and they continue to be great now. Um, and sometimes they challenge us, um, and we accept the challenge, and sometimes we get challenged and challenge them back. And say, you know, I just don't think that this is something that makes sense for, for a character that I, I've played now for 13 years. Um, and nine times out of ten, they are, they, they get it, and they're like, absolutely, let's, you know, let, let's find a happy medium, or let's go with your idea, or let's, you know, let's find a way to fix it. Um, Sometimes they're like, no, we, you know, we really want you to try this and we want to take this moment or this scene a certain way because of what's coming down the line. And then it, and then it becomes challenging. And then it's, uh, and then it's I mean, it's fun. It's, it's all of a sudden we got to figure out a way to, you know, get this round peg into a square hole. And it's, uh, that, can be, that can be exciting. Um, I will say that there are moments where, I mean, there was one recently where uh, Sam and, and, and Dean share a hug uh, after, you know, we thought something bad had happened and then they, they get back together. It's like, okay, I'm glad you're okay, kind of a thing. Which you will see, I think, in the next episode. Um, yeah, you get a pro hug in the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> 
But, you know, we, we, we've had a few of those in the past, and a way to kind of make that uh, unique or, or special to that moment, he and I just, we played this almost like, it doesn't, this doesn't, we don't need to hug right here in this moment. But I'm gonna hug, and then I'm gonna realize, okay, well, maybe I didn't need to hug there. And, uh, <laughs> let's just get back to work as, as quick as possible. But it was that, it was that kind of like feeling and that struggle. It was that that struggle to find that that compassion to each other that was written on the page, and it was it was fun for us to find a way to do that. So, um, yeah, I mean, there's it, there's little moments like that written all the time where I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know how to do that. But then. That's the great thing about working with somebody for so long is you can figure out a way to do it and find a way. And that, and he touched on two. Um, he touched on two different options. One, we disagree, but we go with it. Two, we disagree and we challenge the writers. There's actually a third option, which is we disagree and decide to just change it and don't tell the writers. <laughs> so by the time we figure out, it's too late. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>